Hello Huskies and welcome back to the My GBC podcast. My name is Aranza and on this podcast we tackle the questions that you have as a student about everything from academic support to mental health to help you to be successful at college and beyond. Today we are going to talk about the always important, always stressful topic of money. How we can manage our finance and keep the cost down and where we can find more money to help pay for college. Let's find out. Like many other students, I have made a commitment to pursue my passion and learn the skills that I need to get the career of my dreams. But with the commitment comes the financial responsibilities. So I have asked Peter Kotzkeris to join me today to help me better understand how students like us can best manage money-wise to keep down the financial stress during college. Peter, how are you today? I'm doing great, Aranza. Thank you for having me. How are you today? I'm doing pretty well, but feeling a little stressed about how pay for school, rent, food, and everything else, especially with the cost of everything these days. I totally get that. Uh, we know that your education is expensive on top of all the other things students need to manage, like rent, groceries, transportation, just to name a few. Uh, we want to ensure that we have supports in place to help students just like you be successful when it comes to managing, managing their money and planning for their future. The pandemic has made things way more expensive, so we want to ensure that you can make your money go further and put it to work for you. With that in mind, we partnered with the Canadian Foundation for Economic Education, C uh, to put together some workshops to help you live a financially healthy life. Uh, we have workshops each week, every semester, to give you the tools to do just that. Uh, and it's great for beginners or even those who have some knowledge of how to create work with a budget. Uh, we talk about different ways you can pay for school, uh, managing credit, uh, debt, uh, some investing basics, and even about buying your own uh, first home home. I learn something new every time these workshops happen from the experts, so I definitely recommend that all students sign up for these workshops. Uh, there's so much to learn to help you reach your financial goals. Uh, even international students uh, should pay attention because we have workshops specifically for you, uh, where we teach you about the Canadian tax system, uh, some of the benefits you can claim as an international student. Uh, and they start in a couple weeks on May 31st, this semester at 6 p.m. Oh, that sounds amazing. Thank you so much for explaining that. Although money is always challenging in this economy, I think it could help me and other students to better understand how things like managing a credit or investing works and how they affect my pocketbook. Exactly. So no matter how much or how little money we have at the moment, we're all affected by those things just by living in this pandemic economy. So these workshops uh, just try to help students understand how to navigate a little bit more. That's great. I will definitely look that up. So now we know what's available to help manage our personal finances. But of course, the biggest expense is covering school. Luckily, Peter, you also know all about what supports are available to students at GBC Financial Department. Can you tell us a bit about awards and scholarships? Absolutely, I'd be happy to. So at George Brown, we have an awards program that provides students the financial support they need to succeed in their academic career. Uh, we have uh, supports in the form of scholarships, uh, awards, and bursaries, um, and they're awarded uh, to eligible students based on criteria, not just limited to your academic achievements, but based on financial need and your community involvement. So the criteria varies based on the award, and you can do it all on the financial aid webpage on the GPC website. Okay, that's so helpful. But filling out this application seems complicated and time consuming. How would you suggest someone to get started? Oh, I totally understand that. But really, the steps to fill out this application are not that complicated. I would suggest that you do set aside some time to dedicate to this, as there are a number of sections that you need to complete. Um, we've actually put together step-by-step -step instructions on how to apply for awards and scholarships on the GBC website. Uh, make sure you open them up on a separate tab on your browser so you can follow along as you fill it out. 
I'd also say check other scholarships and awards that are available to you in your community, either here in Toronto or wherever you're studying from. Uh, this could be through your workplace, your parents' workplace, community groups, associations, faith centers that you belong to. There's a lot out there. You just need to take a look. Okay, phew. that sounds a bit more doable. Thank you, Peter. I would definitely let other students know about to check it out. Have you considered that the way that you set up your study place can set you up for getting more done? Here are some tips. One, set the scene. If you like to study in an absolute quiet, set up a space in a bedroom or in an out of the way spot. If you thrive in a busier atmosphere, carve out your permanent corner of the kitchen or family room for your studying. Whichever one it is, keep it consistent every day. Two, make the space comfortable. You can add things that allow you to feel better and be focused. Maybe some candles with your favorite smell or some photos or plants that put you in your happy place. Three, make it ergonomic as much as you can. Four, stay organized. Keep your study materials all together and put them away in the same place each time that you are done. For more helpful tips about setting up your space in a way that can work for you, visit our online learning microsite. Thank you so much for listening today. We'll be back soon with some more important topics that can help you navigate life at college. Till then, have a great week.